This sports segment of Naperville News 17 is brought to you by R.R. Donnelly, enabling the future of innovative communications. Hey everyone, I'm Kamen Anchev. We start with the District 204 soccer rivalry as undefeated Matia Valley met a talented Niqua Valley team. The Mustangs get off to a good start. Matia Valley corner, it's taken short, and Jade Erickson Russo splits two defenders. Her teammate screens the goalie as Erickson Russo slides it in for the opening goal. Later in the first half, the Wildcats win the 50 50 ball, and Haley Singer with a beautiful chip to tie the game at one. Just four minutes later, another fortunate Niqua Valley bounce, and Alyssa Bombacino takes advantage, blasting home the goal for a 2-1 lead. Late in the first half, Nikki Hernandez fires a shot, Casey Gillespie saves it, but Jade Erickson Russo buries the rebound for her 50th career goal, tying the game at two. Second half now, seven minutes left, same score, and watch this turn. Skylar Kingsley between two defenders and lofts it over the goalie for the game winner. Niqua takes it 3-2. On the lacrosse, the Wabanzi Matia co-op coming off a tough overtime loss to Wheaton North and hoping for better luck against Wheaton Warrenville South. The Warriors get off to a good start. This is kind of hard to see, but Xander Seal picks up the rebound and scores as he's falling down. Warriors up 7-4 at the half. Seal with three goals on the night. But the Tigers come back. Will, unverzagged, fires home the shot to tie the game at seven. He was just getting started. Another rocket and the Tigers up 9-7 in the fourth. They would be up 11-8 with under four minutes to play. But Thomas Tillette goes around the defender and beats the goalie for his third goal. Lead down to 11-9 and then Xander Seal from an angle to make it a one-goal game. Time running out and Seal's shot is saved. The Warriors lose 11-10. On the girls lacrosse, Naperville Central taking on undefeated Niqua Valley. Early on, Lauren Reitzel fires one of her two goals in. Keegan Sharko had four goals as he or she is on the run, past the defense and past the goalie for a 5-0 lead. Niqua Valley had seven different scores. Brenda Anderson in front with her second goal of the game. Second half, Mackenzie Turner with a nice turn, finding Caroline Perkins for another goal. The Wildcats win big to go to 6-0. Finally, some badminton action. Matia Valley has played some tough competition early on, as the Mustangs played at 6-1 Naperville Central. The Red Hawks fired up. Starting with one doubles, MV's Natia Nagarajan with a nice save and Allison Yu forces the air as they win in straight sets. Moving the singles, Naperville Central's Joyce Zhang with a perfect placement as she wins her match. To one singles, Nagarajan who won in doubles keeps her winning ways going with an array of shots and finally the backhand finish. Matia Valley wins the match 9-6. That's sports. Alyssa, back to you. Thanks, Common. As the sun finally breaks through this weekend, Naperville Sports Weekly will have the highlights of baseball, softball, and soccer Sunday night at 6.30.